Disney Doll Story. Hi everyone! Today we have a giant inside out surprise egg. And I've been trying to find inside out toys in my city for so long, but it was always sold out. So I've been feeling a little sad and a little angry at the same time for several weeks. But today, little joy was jumping up and down inside my head because I finally found some inside out toys. These toys were so hard to get. Even at the Disney store, they only had anger and fear plush toys left. I mean, that's how hard it is to find these toys. So let's open them up. First, we have Inside Out Deluxe Figurine Playset. This is so awesome because we have five Inside Out characters and various other side characters as well. And it is only sold in Disney stores. And I think these are really well made figurines. High quality plastics and absolutely wonderful paint job. And it's not super big like those talking dolls. So, anyway, this is Joy. She is slightly bendable, so at least it's not going to break apart if I accidentally sit on it or something. I absolutely love the printed dress. I think it's very cute. Here is Anger, and there is a gunk on his teeth. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's so angry. He couldn't get the gunk off his teeth. He has that face, you know, that really, really constipated look. Like, maybe I shouldn't have had that hot chili sauce last night look. Anyway, that's anger. Next is sadness. I think the gap on her teeth looks so cute. I love the texture on her sweater. Whenever I look at sadness, I feel like I just want to hug her. She just looks like she needs a hug. Next is Disgust. I love the super high voluminous eyelashes. I somehow doubt my disgust inside my head would look so glamorous. My disgust probably is a dressed down version of this disgust because she just looks so gorgeous. I love the high platform shoes, velvety fabric, sparkly scarf. My disgust inside my head is saying, whatever, Greenies, so yesterday. Girl, you are fabulous no matter what. And I think that was what this character represents. Be yourself and be fabulous. Anything else is whatever. Next is fear. And I can't help but see a mosquito. I mean, look, big eyes, extremely pointy long nose that almost could be a mosquito mouth, really slender body. I mean, why? Why does my fear look like a mosquito? Anyway, I am personally not a big fan of his shiny purplish skin either. He just looks like he had diarrhea or something. And I mean, he just looks really unwell. This is Rainbow Unicorn. Whenever I look at her, she kind of reminds me of Karen Carpenter. You know, that really famous singer in 70s. She has this kind of feathered hairstyle. Actually, a lot of actresses and singers had that feathered hairstyles in 70s. I feel like this unicorn would just burst into a song singing They Long To Be. A better question is why she would show up on Riley's brain, who probably never lived during 70s. I mean, I wasn't even born during 70s. Why do I see Karen Carpenter here? Here is M&M candy that used to be more colorful blue chocolate candy but probably lost his job at the M&M commercial and got rehired as a security guard in Riley's brain. He was probably a more colorful chocolate candy back in the days. But as the years went by and his colors faded away, he had to leave his position as children's favorite candies and got hired into Riley's brain as a security guard. A better question is, why does Riley's anonymous brain characters all look like faded out M&M candies? Here is Bing Bong. I am personally a little distraught about Bing Bong. He kind of looks scary, you know, like those creepy clowns. Well, I don't like clowns. They give me creeps. Something about Bing Bong is just not quite right. His aerobic spandex from 80s, or is that just really long wool socks taken from her grandfather's socks drawers? And that leather jacket that looks like it also came from her grandfather's attic? And that unusually long floppy nose? If he ever shows up in my dream, I would consider that one 
a nightmare because I don't know. Something about this elephant is just clown scary. I was so sad when he fell into the memory ditch where he will be forgotten. But I'm sure if I had an imaginary friend that looks this scary and silly, I probably wouldn't forget him. Here is another M&M candy that turned into a security guard. He still has some colors left. He could almost get rehired as an M&M commercial actor. And finally, a faded out blob. He actually looks like just a blob of Play-Doh. He is really cute with his goggles and helmet. Run <laughs> backward. And finally, let's open up this inside out joy egg. I have some mystery minis inside the egg, but this one box wouldn't fit inside the egg, so it's left outside. But let's tear down this play doh. First, we are going to start with inside out mystery minis. There are 12 characters to collect. I was looking for these mini blind boxes for like weeks and I couldn't find them anywhere so I am just really happy that a toy store finally decided to bring them to my area. I'm hoping I will get some really good ones and hopefully no duplicates. Today we have four minis. I get the feeling I probably paid about 40% more for these at the toy store but seeing as if I got them online I probably paid more for the shipping and handling so I guess it is what it is. So let's see which one I got. This feels pretty big. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> it's Bing Bong! The silly clown that I just said could haunt my nightmares because it looks freakishly weird. <laughs> I now have two Bing Bongs. A Disney figurine Bing Bong and Mystery Mini Bing Bong. <laughs> Oh, those two bing bongs are now definitely going to show up in my dreams saying how could you not like me? Bing bong! <laughs> Here comes the second Inside Out Mystery Minis. I am hoping I'll get one of the five emotions. That would be really cool. I think Mystery Mini Joy looks really cute. I think Anger looks really cute too. I think Disney figurine has better looking disgust. Fear just looks weird no matter which toys I get. His nose and his eyes just look way too exaggerated. And guess which one I got? Another Bing Bong! <laughs> oh my goodness! Bing Bong is out to get me. This really is what nightmares are made of. Three Bing Bongs! <laughs> and he's extra extra happy so I'll notice him. Oh no. <laughs> But having said that, I think Mystery Mini Bing Bong looks way less creepy than the Disney one. Now I'm scared that I'll open up another Bing Bong. Please, please, no more Bing Bong. I got these two boxes from another box, so hopefully there is no duplicate. We have Disgust. She has that pose like, I'll just go play by myself. <laughs> she actually kind of looks a lot older than the other Disgust. It's like Disney Disgust is in her teens, then this Disgust looks like she's in her 30s, maybe 40s. She looks a lot older. I have no idea why she looks older. Maybe it's just me. She has the same gorgeous green dress with pink scarf, but her shoes look more like flat slippers. And finally, let's open up the last minis. We have another Disgust. But she has a different pose than the other Disgust. So we have three Bing Bongs and three Disgust. <laughs> Next we have some Season 3 Shopkins. I know Season 3 has been out for a few weeks, but I couldn't get these toys anywhere where I live. Yes, it's becoming a theme. I can't get these popular toys. And I am going to tell you guys my secret. I am only allowed to buy two, but I ended up buying four. Yes. <laughs> Don't think too horribly about me. I've been waiting like several weeks to get my hands on these Season 3 Shopkins. And the sign says only take two. I mean, how cruel is that? So I went back and got two more and bought it at a different cash register. So yes, there, I confess. I took four Shopkins. That's how popular these toys are. I am not even allowed to take more than two. 
with my anger and my disgust overreacted extra time today. But anyway, first we have Lana Banana Bread. She looks really cute with all the extra textures. Anyway, next we have Chatter. And she is a rotary phone. This is like from what, 60s? 70s? I think we already moved out of these phones by 80s, didn't we? <laughs> it seems like we are traveling back in time today. I don't know, I feel like season 3 just looks better. Anyway, most toys, why is it so hard to make a thousand more Shopkins so I can buy these plastics without limitations? Why is it so hard for me to get my hands on these toys? And toy stores must ration their supplies like it's a zombie apocalypse. And Shopkins are the last remaining supplies left in the world. Next we have Peachy. I like the pastel transition between red and yellow. She looks almost good enough to eat. Next we have Lizzie Lace Up. Mm, she looks fabulous. Next we have Pee Wee Kiwi. Uh oh, what happened to his brain? It's like somebody already took a bite out of his head. Oh no. <laughs> this is a sad day for Pee Wee Kiwi, I bet. Next we have Wendy Wedding Cake. And she looks really great. Look at the two angels sitting at the top. Aw, it's so cute. And we have another cake. And this one is... Birthday Betty. She looks really cute too. Up next we have Wanda Wafers. I love the golden wrapping around her. Next we have two Hello Kitty fashions. Last time we opened one of these Hello Kitties was like a few months back so we are going to have to get some more because I loved the panda Hello Kitty last time when we opened Hello Kitty fashions. So I wonder which one we will get today. We have Little Tiger Hello Kitty! These are so adorable! I mean, how could you not fall in love with this look? And it's super squishy. A little dirty on the face, but we can probably wash off the black ink. This is so adorable! Let's see what's in the second capsule. We have another Tiger Hello Kitty! These are so, 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 so adorable! Finally, we are going to open up some Littlest Pet Shop blind bags. These pets are so cute, I am going to try to complete the set. I mean, how could you not? We have a purple armadillo with... I am not sure what this is, a carrot. Maybe a corn dog? Pine cone? Hmm, a mysterious orange thingy. She also comes with a purple sandbox. Let's see which one we got this time. We have number 3865. Love it! Next we have the Littlest Pet Collections blind bag. Let's see which one we got from this collection. We have what looks like a little goat. Maybe a sheep with a yellow star and an orange boot. I love how her front paws are sticking out in front. It looks so cute. We have number 3718. This is so adorable. Here is the last Littlest Pet Shop blind bag. We found a blue puppy with like pink sweater and this is just so cute and there is a little bone <laughs> this is just so cute and it comes with a purple wagon I think this one is my favorite so that was the giant inside out surprise egg we had a Disney's inside out deluxe figure playset that had 10 inside out characters we opened four mystery minis and found two bing bongs and two disgust. We found eight season three Shopkins, two Hello Kitty fashions, and three Littlest Pet Shop blind bags. 
I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I hope to see all of you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. See you next time.